Hi all, the Amateur Collector here, back for another Pokemon TCG Opening Adventures for Season 2. Um, so yeah, look in here guys, still a lot of paper to open up, but it is dwindling. So, let's see, should we put the lid on this just loosely? Shake it round. And whatever I pick out of here is what I open up for this episode. Alright. Looks like it's this one. Today we're opening up the White Curum figure box. Wonderful. And here it is. So this is going to be the second video in a row now where I'm opening up a figure box of some sort. I love these TCG figurines. They, they just, just, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a closer look at it because the quality, I just love it. So this is the White Curum box. It comes with a White Curum promo card, White Curum figurine, and four booster packs. Um, by the look, this is meant to be a Boundaries Cross like merchandise, but by the looks of it, there's a big variety of booster packs in here. Um, so here, you can pause here to read if you want. I bought this at Chaos Cards for, um, let me check, £12.95. Um, I think this was the second batch of uh, boxes at the time, um, just before they started stop production or something like that. So the price did skyrocket after I purchased this. So I was very lucky. It's like over a year ago. Oh, guys, I'm struggling to open the packaging again. Let's see. There we go. All right, there we go. It's just not easy to have your arms kind of go around the camera and try to open up a big box without knocking the camera over. Alright, here it is. Open it up. Nice. Oh, I'm going to open it up like that just in case there's a TCG code. I think there probably is. Uh, let me look at the back. No, 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 no. It doesn't say anything about TCG codes. So maybe this came before they started putting those in. Uh, okay. Let's take the promo card out. Nice. Came out pretty well. Boost the back, boost the back, boost the back. Yeah, I don't see any TCGO codes, so I'm guessing this did not come with one. Alright, and now for the figurine. Okay. So let me... Watch me, guys, struggle to put this on. <laughs> there we go. I love that it's hard to put on in some way, because it means it's going to stick on, at least. But on the other hand, it's so awkwardly these Pokemon are so awkwardly shaped it makes being able to find a way to smoothly put it on very hard okay I've got one foot on the other one's not doing so well ah come on sorry I'm struggling now but I might as well just do it now rather than later alright there we go white curum beautiful I've actually got the Black Curum already. Check out my Pokemon TCG Opening Adventures Season 1 for that one. Ah, oh, look at all the details. This is wonderful. It's huge. And uh, I wonder what the production cost is on this. Because they're so well painted and detailed. Just for a £12 box, you know. Cool. Just look at that. All right, well, let's see. Let's stick this guy down here. We've got Tepig on the other side. All right, let me sleeve up the promo, then show it to you guys. Here we go. Promo BW59. It got a slight nick at the back, sadly, but uh, that's just the packaging for this kind of stuff. And it's kind of old. But look at it. Nice. Pretty artwork. I think this is a reprint from a card you can get in the Boundaries Cross set with alternate artwork. But I like it nonetheless. Good for my collection. Alright. 
Now for the booster packs. We have quite a variety. Let me put them in order here. Okay, so we have a Noble Victories, black and white, with Dredigan. Got Next Destinies, I'm always happy to get those. With Reshiram. Boundaries Cross with um, Kildeo. And a Plasma Storm. These are getting very hard and expensive to find, so really good to get that. Has Articuno on that. The fact that this is in this box kind of tells me this is probably the second wave of boxes to come out. Because the first wave, I think, did not have Plasma Storm, because Boundaries Cross, you know, came out before that. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's start opening them up. Noble Victories, number one. I have opened up 36 of these ones already. I got some very good ultra rares, but I still, I'm still missing one or two. Which one am I missing? Cabalion, I think I'm missing. Oh, and the secret rare. Oh, let's see if we can get the secret rare. I want Meowth, secret rare. It might not even be worth as much as the ultra rares, but I want it. Uh, you know what, I'm being too gentle here. Come out, come out, there we go. One, two, three. All right. Let's start off with Zuelus. And Emolga. So happy. Archon, nice. Trubbish. Just love how it's waving its arms like wiggly tentacles. Dwebble, same artist, and you can see, you can see the style there. Larvesta, Litwick, Pornyard, Reverse Hollow Petalil, and a rare Volcarona. Alright, I think I got this guy, but oh well. Alright, next destinies. I'm going to try and open this one up without making too much damage. I want to keep this booster pack and the artwork. One, two, three, to the front. Okay, Ushana as a rare, which means I somehow did this wrong. Um, uh, what was it? One, two, three. I must have done one, two, three, there's four of them. Oh, I must have done this wrong. Sorry, guys. Well, I got Mushana as the rare from Next Destinies. Nice. Our uncommons are Krikajun, Minchino, Jigglypuff, C. Dot Common, Hippopotas, Mienfu, Shinx, Pidov, Reverse Hollow Darumaka. And that's it. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a blip, wasn't it? Alright, and boundaries cross. Still got a booster box of this stuff to open. But any ultra rare or secret rare I get in here is more than welcomed. And hell, even a hollow is good at this point. Because I don't think I got a hollow in the last video I made. Although I did get a good pull, but still. Alright, Mianxiao, Gloom, Herdier, Wubat, Patrat, Spoink, Charmander, Snivy, Reverse Hollow Sandshrew, and... A hollow Zeb Striker, okay, so we did get a hollow. Nice. It's a pretty clear hollow too. Zeb Stri oh, and uh, not only damage on the back, nice. From the usual little bends at the top there. That's just black black and white set for you. Zeb Striker's never really interested me as a Pokemon. Even then, this, this looks kind of bland artwork, but the hollow works well. Alright, and Articuno for Plasma Storm. I have full Art Articuno, 
EX, so if I can get a half art of Articuno EX, I'll be very happy. Alright, kind of slightly butchered that one. Alright, alright, there you go. One, two, three, put them to the front. No res this time? No, good. Alright, Team Plasma's Durant. Galvantula. Donphan. Riolu. Or Riolu. I think both are fine. Lotad. Proloin. Walking on the uh, the the edge there, but it's still making it look like it's sassy. Just Perlo always looks sassy. Chimchar, Magnemite, a Reverse Hollow Pillow Swine. Nice. Don't think I have that one. And oh, oh, I called it. Oh, oh, freaking. Oh, I want to swear so badly right now. This is. <laughs> Oh, sweet! Oh, this is just what I needed! Oh, wicked! And it's not in any way damaged! Oh my god! You have no idea, this is... Oh, how many times in these videos have I said I wanted something and... Obviously, I just get the opposite. I just get really bad pulls. This is wicked! Oh! Okay, Team Plasma's Articuno EX. Okay, man. All right, what do we do now? Um, I guess a recap. These are the rares I got: Musharna and Volcarona. I'm. I got this one. I don't know about Musharna, so that would be a good addition. If not, got Hollow Zeb Striker. Always good. I don't have this one either. Let's hope I don't get it in the booster box, so it's not a, a double. I'd hate that. And this wonderful ultra rare Articuno EX. Nice. And awesome promo card with the figurine, which I absolutely adore. Once again, I can see the sunlight's probably damaged this a bit. It, or maybe it's just the coloration it hap that, that it has naturally, or maybe it just fades over time. Don't know, but it looks a little creamy white as opposed to just white white. Anyways, I digress. Guys, thank you for watching. This has been a, a fantastic opening. Um, <laughs> this has never really... It's happened on a few occasions, but like rarely, very rarely. <laughs> Especially during this adventure. Season 2 has not been always this kind to me. Um... So thanks for watching guys, please feel free to subscribe and keep up to date with my Pokemon TCG opening adventures, check out season 1 of Pokemon TCG opening adventures, the link is down below, I get some good pulls in that too, um, check my blog out, and stay tuned, because um, I promise there will eventually be more EXs, I don't know if they'll be as good as this one though, ah oh, wicked. Alright, just a, a, another side note. Look at that, it's got snow, like the blizzard. And the snow's actually going on it there, just settling on its beak and its stuff. Oh, I love this artwork, not bad. <clears throat> Anyways, bye bye, see you next episode.